everyone. It's a Steve Earl song. I'm going to start out with the uh, Johnny Cash version, teach you that, because I absolutely love this fuzz guitar that's uh, playing in the background. Tried to find out who's played, who played on this, who did this song with Johnny, but I haven't been able to definitely find out who played on this. Um, regardless, we're going to cover that. I'm going to go over the Steve Earl who's the original writer of this song. I'll go over, he plays this two different ways. I'll give you the nuances of that and the way, the things he does, even live. Um, so we'll go over the Johnny first and then we'll get into uh, Steve's after that. Okay, this song's in the key of C um, and everything is centers around the third fret or the G chord, if you will, there. And the C and the F with the fourth root. Um, I really worked hard on this. I really thought this might be C played up at the, um, what is that, five, nine, eighth position. One of those type things. Even found a lesson showing it that way. But um, I'm a big believer in minimal movement. And as I started messing around with this, I figured out it's all in this position because it makes a lot of sense. And as we go through it, you'll see that. So to start out with, we're just going to hit a muted sixth string and then catch the fifth string at the sixth fret with a slight bend. And then on the fifth fret of the fourth and third string. And we'll hit that twice. Alright, so we have that so far. Then we're going to pedal, we're pretty much pedaling off this 6th fret on the 5th string. We'll go to the 5th fret of the 3rd string. And these are palm muted, so we're going 6, 5, 6. And then hit that 5th um, fret of the 4th and 3rd string again twice. So let me take it from the beginning up to this part. At this point, we're going to hit that pedal note, the 6, and then we're going to go to a 6th six six fret on the 2nd string, 5th fret on the 3rd string. We'll do this a few times because we're referencing the F. Okay. But we're just playing part of the chord here. And when he hits it, he bends that five just slightly. So we have this. And then you hit that fifth fret of the fourth and third string again twice. All right, so we have this. And then back to our pedaling between the fifth string and fourth or third string. And then we do the fives again. Okay, so let's take it up to this point. One, two, three, four. One more time with the pedal note in the fives. Then he starts the verse. Just about that time, he'll start saying about, but then we're into the verse. He starts about where we finished off there. All right, so we're into the verse. The verse follows exactly what we've been doing. The difference is the, the five and six on the second and third string will just be struck with a quick down up. So it really follows the vocals. So we'll do our pedal notes, five, or I'm sorry, six to five. Two on the five, six, third and second string. To our pedal notes. To the five and the fourth and third. Pedal notes. Then we're we'll switch to a G chord. We'll do that for two quick strikes, down up. And back to our pedal. Alright, so that's the first section of the verse. I'll take it again slow for you, alright? One, two, three, four. Alright, a 
again, we'll start over. At this point, what we're going to do is do half of our pedals, six to five. Then we're going to come back to six on the sixth string with a bend. And to our G twice. All right, so we'll have this. Okay, and then back to our pedal. All right, so the second half of the verse. One, two, three, four. All right, so now the third section of the verse. Just like what we did, the last section's a little bit different. Follow me on this. One, two, three, four. Alright, so the difference is we're just going to hit our G twice and our C twice. We're saying devil's right hand. And what we're doing is leading into the chorus, okay? So that last measure again, one, two, three, four. All right, now we're into the chorus. All right, so I'll do the chorus at speed and then I'll show you what we're doing. One, two, three, four. So that chorus, we're basically going from an F to a C to a G, back to a C, starting again with an F. All right, so it's got, this is where it gets more of the country feel. So what we're doing is we're going to hit the first note of the F chord. So if you're not familiar with this, we're on the third fret of the fourth string, on the third string at the fifth fret, and you can put your pinky down on the second string at six. What we're going to do is hit that third fret of the fourth string once, then the chord, and then twice, then the chord. And those are muted. All right, and then you want to hit the root note of the C. We're going to move up to a C5 once and then the chord and then twice and then the chord so it's more of a country feel we'll go to a g so we're going to hit that root note once chord twice and then chord and back to our c same pattern all right, now the pattern will change a little bit, so hang with me here. We're going to go back to the F, C, okay, so I did that a little bit exaggerated, but what we're doing, we're starting on the F, that's the same. When we get to the C, we're going to do the root note, and then the chord, and then the root note twice. Then we grab that 6th fret to the 3rd fret, we're moving to the G now. So this is like playing our chord. And then we go to this 3rd fret for the G chord, root note, chord, and then root note twice and chord. Alright, so let's take it from the C. One, two, three, four. To our C for half a measure, so we're going to hit the root note and the chord. Then what we do is, then what we're going to do is slide from the fifth string to, from the fifth fret to six, and grab five and seven on the fourth string. And then those two fifth frets 
of the fourth and third strings. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the very last measure of the chorus. Basically, it's a little bit uh, free-for-all, if you will, or just free-feeling. Still following the pattern, what we're going to do is hit that 6 to 5 pedal note, but we're going to just mute the um, fourth string. It's like a passing note before we hit the double fives. And it gets again that pedal six and then goes to five but he catches five with the four string and it's muted back to six and then our fives twice so this is the first half of that measure then we're back into the full uh, part of it and then they'll start the verse after this um, third part of the measure. So we'll go to this, pedal notes in the fives. My very first, and that's when he's talking about his first pistol, is this last section. Which we know. And then we're into verse two. Verse two is exactly the same. Well, I should say verse two is just like verse one except for the very last measure where he talks about the devil's right hand. Instead of going G to C, they'll do this. So let me take the very last measure. I've written this out so you can follow the notes, but the very last measure of verse 2 will be this. So we're adding that pull on the sixth string. Okay, we'll do the first pedal notes with our 5-6 and then our pedal notes with the 5's and then the pedal note 6-5 to 6 on the 6th string and then slight pull down and 2 G's and 2 C's so that 6 pull down is the difference between verse 1 and 2 Again, um, I'll have my notes uploaded in a link below the video, and I'm going to do a play along for this because, you know, again, there's a lot of little nuances to it, um, even the third verse. All right, the second chorus is really cool. Um, I really love the pull-offs at the end. I'm going to show it to you at speed, and then we'll slow it down. <laughs> So, we're doing that chorus just like we did initially with the root note once and then the root note twice after the chords. F to C to G back to our C. That's the first measure of the second chorus. Second measure, again, it gets a little different. We're going to start out with the F as normal. The C will be a little bit different. We're only going to hit the chord once, and then when we hit the root twice, we're going to go to that 6th string, 6th fret with a slight bend, and start with our G. Alright, we'll have this. And then our C will be one uh, root note hit, and then the chord, two root notes, and then we're going to hit that 6th string at 6th fret again, but then we'll go to the five on the fourth and third string. So we'll have this. And then we start with our um, pedal note, six to five only. And then five on the fourth and third. And then we're going to do this. We're going to hit the sixth string and pull off to and release to zero. All right, so we'll have this. We'll do that twice. Back to our five. Then we're going to change that up to the fifth string. Same thing, six. Pull and release to open twice. Then sixth. 
the fifth again. And then we start in when he'll say, I got into at this point, but you're finishing off the chorus. Two pedal note, or I'm sorry, three pedal notes, six, five, six, and our two fives. I got into. All right, so third verse, very similar to the uh, second verse. Actually, third verse is just like the second verse. Um, you'll have that in the end um, with the six pull down. That's the big difference. We're going into the third chorus, which will end the song, okay? The ending, um, first part of the, the, actually the chorus are just the chords. But the last measure is really different from what we've done before. Same chords, same structure, but how he plays it is just a bit different. So let me go through it at speed, and then I'll show you what we're doing. just playing through the F to the C and the G twice. Root note, chord, root note twice, and chord. We'll repeat it again. No six pull downs or anything fancy. Just repeat the whole thing again till you get to the C after the G. point when we hit our root note and chord once we're going to do our five to six fret on the fifth string and then five seven and catching um, five back on the fourth and third string do that twice now we're going to hit our six this is where it gets different we're going to hit our pedal note six and our five six once to five on the fourth and third string then we're going to do that lick again from the um, sixth fret of the uh, fifth string. So it's kind of like repeating itself. Okay, except we're not coming into it from the chord. So let me take you in from the chord so you can see what I'm talking about. Now to end it, we're going to do that same lick with the 6 to 5 and 7. And then he hits the full C uh, referencing the C, so we'll hit the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd string. Hold that for 8 measure, or 8 counts. And just slide it up. And that's the song. So I really hope that helps everyone. Like I said, I'll do a playthrough. Um, and the next part of the lesson, I'm going to go through the Steve Earle version of it. Or two versions, that the way he plays it. But I will have a playthrough of the Johnny version for you. Alright, this is the Steve Earle original version. right there basically what we're doing we're going to start with a C chord and hammer into a C suspended fourth so we're taking that third of the C chord the E note and adding an F to it okay so we're hammering on our small finger on the four, third fret if we count the capo at the fourth fret okay so we're capoed at four 
we'll count one, two, three. So we're pinky on the three. And then we pick it up. Back to a C suspended. Second. Okay, so we're picking up our middle finger now. And then hammering in. And then we start again. So we'll do that two more times. When we do that C suspended, we're going to go right to our G. All right. You want to use your middle finger on the um, third fret of the sixth string because what you're going to do is use your first finger to hold the 2nd fret of the 6th string and hammer into the 3rd fret. That finger is, your first finger is on the 2nd fret, but you're kind of muting that 3rd string. We're not going to be playing that 3rd string at all. I'm sorry, 5th string. So it's muted. So we have this. Now the key to this song, when you start again with the next measure, you're going to just start with a plain C for a quarter measure. And you come off that G and then you'll go back into the suspended fourth and suspended second. So it'll sound like this. Let's take it from the G. is really the key to playing this other than whenever he says devil's right hand he'll go C F C okay so the last uh, measure of the first verse he talks about the devil's right hand but it's not emphasized all right meaning it's just played as part of the verse but you have to switch those chords again I've written this out so download my notes and follow along so He'll say, she really blew up with the G. She really blew up. Didn't understand. Mama said the pistol is the devil's right hand. Now we're into the chorus. Now the chorus really exaggerates the C, F, G, or C, F, C, okay? So the chorus is F and then our C, F, C. Devil's right hand. See how that's emphasized there versus the verse, all right? And then we're into just a regular G. Uh, Mama said the pistol is the, and then our CFC. All right, so that's really the key to um, playing this with the original version. So let me play along with this a little bit, and you can see how all this fits together. Um, just the first verse into the chorus, all right? And uh, version we're going to go through the um, next chorus where he talks about well come out of the uh, verse to devil's right hand devil's right hand mama said that the pistol is the devil's right hand then you'll hear a C for a measure with a harmonica and then 
G to C for a half measure each. Then we're going to switch keys. So we're going to D now. So when we switch keys, what we're doing there is D, we're going to add a D sus 4 hammer on, back to D, to D sus 2, pick up our middle finger, and then hammer into it. Alright, we'll do that again. Now what we're going to do one more time, but then when we switch to A, we come to A from the A sus, or the D sus 2. will be like playing a G to A. So we're going to play fourth and third string open and then to an A chord. Shut the dog down, watch a man fall, never touch a holster because it does Remember, coming out of the A, we're just playing a D. Then we go into the actual D sus4. Never touch the holster, never had a chance to draw. Alright, and then we're into Again, we're coming from this A to the devil's right hand. Again, this isn't the emphasized part. This is the end of the second or the verse change. I, I remember. Anyhow, I can't remember the second or third verse, but it's after the chord change. So devil's right hand is D, G, D. Okay, so never touch the trigger of the devil's right hand. And then we're into the chorus. So this time the chorus is G and then D, G, D. Said the pistol is the devil's right hand. The devil's right hand. The devil's right hand. Nothing touch a trigger but the devil's right hand. All right, then we go into a harmonica part and so forth, which I've written out. So I hope this helps everybody. Um, I'm going to go through the alternative version um, that Steve plays live, and mostly he doesn't even change uh, keys. He just plays in the same key, but I'm going to give you some options, so hope you enjoy. All right, here's the alternative way that Steve Earle does this, especially live. Um, in the original version, he changes key, which again, I, I have in my notes. A lot of times live, he just doesn't bother changing keys. He just stays throughout. Um, I've written it out with this alternative version. If you want to play along with the song, you can switch the keys and, and the um, chording. But what he does, if you look at Steve playing this live, he puts his capo on the fifth through the second string, okay? So that's leaving that sixth string open for an E, all right? Because we're at the second fret capoed, when we play a D form, we're actually playing an E chord. If we were D here, moved it up a full step, D, E. So it's like we're playing a full E there, okay? So it starts out like this. So our D, let's just talk to this as D, okay, because we got our capo on. D to D suspended fourth, so we're going to put our pinky down, okay. Back to D, and then D sus 2, where we pick up our middle finger, and then hammer it down. Alright, so we'll do that again. So that is
is the intro. So let's do that one more time for the first part of the verse. That D suspended will lead us into the A, okay? So to get that that we do in the original, we're just going to hammer in from basically open um, fourth and third string to an A. And then when we come into our D, back again, it's just for a quarter measure of just plain D. And then you start in with the notes, D sus 4 D and then D sus 2. So let me do that. Um, let's start from the uh, A. One, two, three, four. think from D sus 2 you're going to switch into the A when it's time okay that's one way to remember it so um, let's go into the chorus again there's a subtle devil's right hand in this this case we'll be playing D G D from an A okay so um, I'll take it from she really blew up I didn't understand okay on the A she really blew up It's not emphasized. Again, just like the original version, he just does devil's right. And then we go into the chorus, which is G, and then our D, G, D. Devil's right hand, the devil's right hand. That's emphasized, the D, G, D. Devil's right hand, okay? And at this point, you're going to go to an A. Mama said, pistol is the devil's right hand back into the next verse so with that said because we're not um, capoing that sixth string when we change keys he's gonna go to an E okay we can't just play a full E with the sixth string it won't sound right so if you if you capo this way just play your E from the fifth string down. Got into a card game with the company town. Caught a minor cheating and I shot the dog to be down. Caught the dog down. Again, we're just playing from five down. If you take the capo all the way and cover the sixth string, which is fine, I'm just talking about how he does this live, because he doesn't switch keys. If I was playing this, this alternate version, I would capo over the sixth string, so I could play that full E. <laughs> So again, I've written this out because the chorus changes. It'll go to A and then E A E for um, Devil's Right Hand. Um, let's take it from the last part of the chord change verse. Not guilty, I said. Not guilty, I said. You got the wrong man. Nothing but your trigger, but the devil's right hand. And then we go into the chorus. Devil's right hand. The devil's right hand. All right, so there's the two versions. Um, I really hope that helps everybody. Um, enjoy.